I just wanted to let you know that you are amazing. Just completely and utterly amazing. And I know school or work and any number of things might have you really stressed out right now, but maybe it would be nice of you to just give yourself a bit of a break. Just lay back, maybe close your eyes, and relax. Can you do that for me? Really? Thank you. I thought maybe I'd just ramble a bit, just let my mind wander and speak about whatever. You don't necessarily have to listen to the words, I just like you to relax. hands. I feel like I need to be rubbing them almost all the time. I used to rubbing through my hair a lot. Speaking of which, my hair is sort of absurdly long at the moment, but winter is coming, so maybe that's okay. The current thing I do a lot of is tapping. I know some people don't like to hear incessant tapping, so usually I just tap on my own body, forearm, other hand, sometimes collarbone. The knee has a nice throb to it too. Sometimes I like to imagine the beat I'm tapping might have been thought of at some point by some famous composer. Like, did Bach ever have the exact rhythm I'm tapping in his head? It's not impossible and <laughs> Just the thought that now, hundreds of years later, I've created the exact same thing is a little exciting. Of course, his musical talent and composing ability far exceed mine. <laughs> Still, it's a nice thought. I also flutter my fingers. If I had a lot more fingers, maybe the fluttering would actually look like a wing. But I only have four per hand that I can partake, so it probably just seems like my fingers are moving haphazardly to everyone else. I want you to know how much I care about you and your well-being. Um, how is the weather where you're at? I hope it's comfortable for you. I've always really loved fall. Uh, or spring, if that's where you are, besides those days where the temperature is just <laughs> uncomfortably hot. I love the colors, though, as the leaves turn yellow and orange and red and turn and spin and crunch, and it's just dazzling. Everything about it, the turning of the seasons, the days get shorter, and you don't notice it individually, but it builds up. And suddenly, the daylight hours have just shrunk so much. And then, at least where I live, the rain comes. I love the rain. I love the pitter-patter as it falls from the skies. I love how it feels when it drips down onto my skin. But maybe that's because the rain is pretty nice where I live. Nothing crazy. Something you can walk into and feel. And watching it trickle and torrent its way through the ground is just wonderful. And knowing that it brings life to everything. You really just deserve be able to unwind everything you do for others and then just sometimes not make any more time for yourself. Just relax right now. I'm here for you. Have you ever heard of the mantis shrimp? If you haven't, you should look it up sometime. It's possibly one of the most interesting little critters in the world. They live underwater and have these awesome little eyes that see spectrums of light that we just can't. And the color of them, it's like an entire rainbow packed to one tiny little organism. And then their little punch, they can launch their 
fists forward really, really fast. So fast that it actually boils water. Imagine how useful that would be. You could cook your food just by hitting it. Although that might hurt your hand a bit. And they are just aggressive little things. They'll punch anything, whether for food or if they feel threatened, even if it's several sizes larger than them. Sometimes I kind of wish that I was a mantis shrimp, because that would be cool. But that means I would have to be a shrimp, I guess. You are doing so well. Just one more landing, I promise. Just a little more. Just a little more time where I want you to be as relaxed as possible. How do you like books? I love just being able to hold a book in my hands and feel the pages in my hands and listen to that rustle as you turn each one. I have an e-reader too, but nothing beats the nice smell of a new book and just how crisp everything is. Or when you have a nice leather cover and you can just hold it as you read and run your fingers over it. And books with illustrations, oh my goodness. Like The Little Prince or Ones by Quentin Blake for Roald Dahl. There's nothing particularly complicated about them. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but they just so elegantly convey a sense of the world the author has set out to create. Or just having a really nice thick volume in your hand. Something like Lord of the Rings or Storm of Swords. A book where you're just a bit intimidated by its size, but you know it'll be a great adventure. Well, it was fun, kind of just talking about, you know, whatever. I hope you enjoyed listening, and I really hope you have a wonderful day.